Today I'm going to show you guys how to work this PRV Audio DSP. This is the DSP 2.8X. So that is two inputs and it is eight outputs. Obviously right now I only have four of them hooked up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, obviously you need a remote in, ground and a positive. This is your remote out sequencer. So basically if you want to run a remote out, so this is actually going to my line driver right here. So you can use that and it will turn on when the uh, DSP turns on. So that is a cool feature. So you can have multiple uh, things hooked up to this, your amps, your mids and highs, whatever you want, it will hook that up for you. All right, so let's look at these buttons right here. So what these buttons are, if they're all blue, that means they're all good to go and they are working. If you have one of these and you hold it down, that's an easy way to mute the channel so it's not playing. So if you just don't want it to uh, have something playing, you can just hold it down. Red means it's on mute. And if it's blue, that means it's good to go. So let's unmute these. All right, so let me show you guys some quick features up here on DSP. So all you have to do is tap it and you can get to the main menu. You have audio, pre, uh, audio processing, you have graph EQ presets, crossover presets, save, copy, channel, security tools, so in language. So obviously what these do, do a variety of different things. Start right here. So graph EQ presets, I have mine. Try to have mine right on hip hop. I just like it for some reason. So you can have that and it can go back. So to go back, you just hold it in and it will go back. And if you hold it down for long enough, it'll go to the main menu. All right, so crossover presets also, you can save. I say it all you got to do is just hit save what you want to do and just to go back just tap it down and you can load your settings too so if you what you do if you copy your channel so once we get into the uh, crossovers you can actually copy those crossovers and you can load them on another channel so if you want to save the cross uh, the crossovers for number one you can put it on number five as well so that's a pretty cool feature so like I said and we have screensaver and we also have tools I think I'll pass that but we have tools also so let's go ahead and get into audio processing so this is the EQ settings and all that this is actually the crossover so this is one of the main parts of the DSP that a lot of people love about this so what you do is you click on it and right here you can see this is for channel 1 this is the high pass filter is set to 5000 and it's on so all you have to do to change this is you can just toggle over just like that and that will move over to the different channels. So right here, you know, I don't have channel one hooked up. Channel two is my horns, three is my six and a halves, and four is my eights. So for example, we're on channel two right now. So the high pass is set to 5,000 right around where the horns like to play at. And you can also go to your low pass, which will be 20,000. So these horns play from 5,000 hertz to 20,000. So if you guys don't understand what high pass and low pass is, high pass is basically the lowest frequency you want that uh, either speaker to play, and low pass is the highest frequency you want that speaker to play. Just kind of put it in simple terms. All right, so like I said, make sure it's on B12 to have it playing, and you can switch channels just like this, whichever ones you want, and just hold that button down and it'll go back. All right, and you go to crossover phase, limiter, gain is another option too. So let's say you have your gain set for your amplifiers, so and you just don't want them horns playing too loud. So them horns are on channel two. So all you have to do is tap until you go to channel two, and you can see I have it at negative 20 decibels. That's just because I don't want them horns blaring loud in my ears. So you can turn it down, or you can turn it up, whatever you desire, uh, but if you turn it down, you know, just keep in mind it's going to make everything quieter, which is what I did with the horns. All right, so that is a nice feature too. You don't have to mess with your gain knobs or anything on your amplifiers once you have it set. All right, and you can mute the channels manually through this if you want to, or you can just hold down the buttons. We've got a graphic, graphic EQ and everything, so let's go back. Let me show you another key feature on this. Okay, so what you want to do is let's go to tools right here. So tools is going to allow you to play test tones, tone generators, frequency sweeps, pink noise, and everything. 
So this is going to be a key tool once you're setting your gains for an amplifier. You know, it can send a certain frequency, whether it's 40 hertz or whether it's 1,000 hertz right through your radio. I'll show you guys, for example. So you got tone generator. So we're just going to have the horns play real quick. And you can go up with the tone generator. You can go down whatever frequency you want to play. Just keep in mind the only downside is it's analog. It does go very slowly. So right here, we got the horn set for 5,000. So let's just play a 5,000 hertz tone generator. So you just hit the button. Gain. So obviously you want this game way back because you don't want it to destroy your ears. So you want to bring it on back. And all you have to do is you have to select the on button right here. So I'll show you guys real quick. Around 40. All right. And on is going to turn on that tone generator. So just listen. You can hear that faint noise from the from the horns. All right. So let's say you want to hear the six and a halfs and the eights as well. You can do that too. So all you have to do is go to on. You hear I got louder. So that is just muting those channels. And that is the power of your tone generator. So let's go back. And you can do a frequency sweep. So if you want to have a sweep for your subwoofers, you can start at around 20 hertz and play all the way up to 60 hertz. It'll have a little nice little sweep. Or you could also do the same thing for your mids and highs as well. So that's a fun little tool to do. That's basically what the rundown of the DSP looks like. It is very useful, especially if you don't have the greatest radio. This DSP can help you out a whole lot. Uh, make your speaker sound phenomenal. But yeah, guys, that is it that I have. Like I said, you can hold down to get to the main menu. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comment section. And I can help you guys out. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, let me know if you have any comments. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.